My name is Byung-jin Kim from Ampo Technology. Today, I'm going to present design constraint and scale down evolution in advanced semiconductor packages. As you know, well, silicon fab technology has been scaling down to nanoscale these days. We are well aware of that benefit from that, such as high performance, small form factor, as well as the cost. As silicon fab technology has evolved, there is a big change in semiconductor package as an interface. So I tried to find out package trend in smartphone because smartphone has changed a lot over the case. It's worth to check package trend and changes. And then identify the key driver factors and finally propose the next level of integration and design feature. This slide shows packaging technology in the smartphone. It's a hard to imagine life without mobile phone. We stream movies, surf the web, and even bank with our phones. They are getting smarter and taking care of everything needed beyond just the phone call. You can see many changes in smartphones through the decades as shown here. What's different throughout the decades? First, package type. All components were really frame based throughout time. Components have been diversified to BGA, wave level package, flip GPSP, and package on package. Second, the smartphone has integrated more functions. Component sizes and the area inside the phone have become smaller and smaller. Now shown here, smartphone have also become thinner and lighter. Among many components of a smartphone, the APTB is a key to advancing packaging technology. In the 1990s, TQFP, with really frame based and IO deployed at the paper area only, it's not enough to accommodate IO count and uh, more functions. In the 2000s, it changed to BJ packages, using the whole bottom of package to accommodate more IO count. In the 2010s, Memory chips were integrated along with the AP package under the BJ package platform. In mid 2010s and now, package on package, which AP and memory stacked by separate package, became the mainstream. The point here, package platform have changed to make a large reduction of the footprint and enabling more function integration. More details on mobile AP package. This slide is showing major AP package structure applied so far. From left side to right, with frame, QFP, BJ, stack CSP, and package on package. Major driver are IO density and memory placement. This is highly related with high performance achievement. BJ helped to overcome IO count limitation. Stack packages to put memory chip inside AP package. Package on package enabled more memory function and gave it design flexibility. This is the big challenge in AP package how to make high IO density within given footprint area and memory interface. This AP package portfolio in the market is a laminate substrate basis and not including fan out package here. Depending on level of functionality, package structure are different. Major difference is from memory interface method. You can tell premium phone has 0.27 mm memory interface pitch, while high-end one 0.35 mm pitch. Our memory interface enables more I/O count and more function. Let's look at uh, package on package for premium smartphone. This is an interposer part. There is AP chip in the middle of package and top and bottom laminate substrate around it. The top substrate is for memory package mounting and sold or capable make interconnection between the AP and memory chip. The top substrate as an interposer helps with the flexibility of the memory type and the IO layer. There are several key factors to be considered to move toward higher performance and smaller compactor apart from G height. First, IO count from AP chip. Silicon technology is going to nano scale such as 5 nano this year and 3 or 4 nano in the next couple of years. It requires tensor and final bump layout. Second, soldable for external interconnection. More function signal as well as more ground and power signals are required. 
Core pitch has been reduced accordingly. Third, interface between AP and memory is also getting finer because of more interface between memory and the AP chip. Three types of interconnections, die bump, memory interface, and solder board for board mounting. There are technical changes for smaller form factors and high performance. I'm going to discuss the factors in detail and try to propose the next, the future of AP uh, package. High performance and small form factor are major drivers for high-end AP devices. From this slide, I'm going to check key factors in detail, which are critical for high performance devices. The first one is bump layout. Pretty tied to substrate interconnection is using copper power solder bump. AB packages have been using copper bump for high IO count and fine bump pitch as an interconnection. For high performance and integration of more functions, such as SOC, the number of bumps are continuously increasing, but the die size is staying the same or rather smaller. So bump pitch should be fine and the layout carefully considered accordingly. The full array layout on the die consists of signal and ground power, and separate deployment is required both at the peripheral area and at the center area. Generally, signal pins are assigned to parallel area while ground power pins to the center area. Pin layout and pitch should be carefully designed according to the grid electrical path. Here is the example of bump pitch and required line and space design. Only one trace escape is available on 150 micron pitch layout, and there is no way out for more than two trace on the same layer. It's one of the reasons why the substrate layer count increases. Additionally, the connection between layers are through PR. Stack PR is one of the design factors we think about as a minimum space consumption. PR stack is unavoidable in high IO count design. Sometimes there have been reliability issues, especially for stack PR. So here we are checking for optimum PR uh, layout by simulation. On the right side, a various PR stack configurations are shown. Four layer assumed and stress level were simulated on the solder board. Non stack to two or three and full stack means the stack PR count on solder board. As shown in simulation result on the left side, the full stack PR has 35% more stress and even 24% increase with two stack PR. So stack configuration uh, should be minimized to ensure packaging and board level reliability. This slide uh, check bump layout is showing the difference layout by bump pitch from 150 micron to 55 by 110 micron and 40 by 80 micron pitch. Bump pitch is solder or copper bump, which is different from bump pitch because solder bumps are limited to fine pitch by solder short issues when in before. Copper bombs have enabled the pine bomb pitch down to 80 micron staggered pitch. With this pine pitch adopted, the IO count can theoretically accommodate three times more. Copper bombs reduce the electrical path uh, to be shorter and improve loudability, which helps substrate layer reduction. On the right side, it's confirmed the layer reduction enabled four to two layers when bump layout changed from full array to 480 micron fine pitch by design simulation. Electrical path also gets shorter. Substrate design rules are very important to accommodate IO count from die side to external side. Here, the investigation on substrate design rule changes over the years for smart token application. To achieve high performance and a small form factor practice, Substrate technology has been advancing to accommodate many IO count and achieve multi-chip layout. Substrate technology applied to mobile AP product uses the most advanced design rule. Among many factors, the key rules such as line and space and VR, as well as solder mask reg registration have been checked here. The schematic view of the escape trace between bump is described in the table. Bump pitch and type have been changed from solder to copper pillars, 
enabling bone bone trace for bind PG and higher IO count. This type became the major integration in 2020s as bone PG goes finer. Escape trace width and space should be fine. It has changed from 22 to 810 micron line width and space over the years. Bone pitch, bone pad, and trace pitch have trade off and should be chosen properly for overall interconnections and package layer outline. These factors are increasingly challenging for improved performance and small form factor achievement as silicon pad technology evolved. Fine pattern is one of key challenges and relevant with the kappa thickness, but it is limited by the manufacturing process and reliability. There are three substrate manufacturing process. We can tell the difference by the cross-section view here. Subtractive pattern is the most common process to make pattern by etching process. It's common and most cost effective, but limited by etching slope called aspect ratio. Additive pattern is a builder process and relatively makes a fine pattern, but there is an issue in metal additions. The final one is about embedded pattern. Metal is embedded in prepared material and stable to achieve fine pattern. Based on different process, the pattern aspect ratio is different. Additive and embedded manufacturing process have a good aspect ratio related relatively than subtract, subtractive process. The embedded pattern process is widely applied to a fine pattern design for mobile application. Using this embedded pattern, using this embedded pattern and its process, a trace feature of 80 micron enabled to escape trace between a 90 micron bump pitch. Next is memory interface. The memory package should be closely positioned to the AP package for better performance. For that reason, stacking the memory package on the AP package became mainstream and increased the degree of freedom in memory selection. This slide shows how the footprint would be reduced through memory pitch reduction. Under the same condition of die size, IO count, and layout, when pitch changed from 0.65 mm to 0.5 pitch, 29% reduction achieved, and almost half when 0.4 mm pitch. Theor theoretically, 72% when 0.3 pitch, but it is technically difficult to make it within this package structure because of challenging solar column formations. This is one of the reasons to develop copper ball integration using interforger. As shown here, footprint reduction and size scaling has been achieved by memory pitch reduction, but this is not considering the requirement of more IO count from memory package. This shows the IO count increase between AP and memory devices. The interconnection between two stack packages is called the memory interface. It mostly consists of a two-row parallel layout as memory moves towards lower power and higher performance, the number of interconnection between AP and memory have increased under the limited space and resulted in considering fine interface pitches. To check the interface density, the number of count has been calculated based on two row parallel array and 15 mm square body size. The value are shown here, changing from 0.65 mm pitch to 0.27 mm pitch the IO count increased almost uh, 2.5 times and the higher density would be achieved. In the actual product, the IO count for memory interface has ranged from 200 to mid 300 in case of 0.27 mm pitch, depending on the package by size. Package scaling is eventually related to IO density. With this, with this perspective, IO2 pack density IO count per mm scale has been studied for commercial AP product from 2016 <clears throat> to 2020. This slide shows IO count per package size by year and substrate technology. The IO density was low and stayed around 4 until 2016. It then jumped to 6 in the next three years, 
barriers technology development were involved, but the increase was achieved mainly by both pitch change from 0 0.4 to 0 0.35 mm. Next, it has taken three years to increase to an IO density of seven. Most, dense, most design factors were scaled down, but many this increase was achieved by both package edge distance reduction. As shown here, it's estimated that further increase will occur surely but slowly over the coming years because of many factors involved. Uh, looking into wearable applications, different from laminate-based product, a redistribution layer substrate using a bumping process was identified to be able to achieve more than 8 IO density. Even though they are under different size and application, it's good to understand there is something to increase IO density. Design simulation has been performed with these three key factors to propose how to increase IO density at the PAX level. First, ball IO density was simulated by ball pitch, layout, and ball patch edge distance. The simulation factor includes ball pitch 0.35 mm and 0.33 mm pitch. Out ball center to pack edge distance 0.56 mm and 0.35 mm, considering manufacturing capability. Ball layout inline is a common layout and changes to stagger to check how much density there would be. As shown in table, each simulation factor has been combined to determine IO count per mm scale. The results show the density has changed from around 5 to around 8 by ball pitch, 0.33 mm with the staggered ball layout, which is the highest density for the given conditions. A second simulation was performed to check the correlation between fine pattern and bump IO density. It's meant to propose how fine pattern is required in the near future. Assume that high bump IO density will be achieved by uh, fine bump pitch as well as more escape trace. Two cases were separately studied. Currently, 90 micro bump pitch makes two escape trace available with 80 micron pitch. As shown in table, if trace width reduced to around 5 micron, it will be able to make three escape trace feasible while reduce the bump pitch to 80 micron. This shows a fine pattern manufacturing process is a key to accommodate higher bump IO count for high performance. This is the last slide for conclusion. Semiconductor package has evolving high performance and small bump factor as same as silicon pad technology. I tried to check package trend in smartphone and identify challenges and propose the next level of integration. For this, IO count for MM scale was measured as a high density indicator and confirmed that it's increased gradually from 4 to 6 and higher. Also studied key factors to increase IO count for MM scale. A layout and fine pattern capability were proposed for the next level of IO density and also was simulated to get high IO density. A study confirmed 0.33 mm ball pitch with a staggered layout can increase the IO count per mm scale up to 8.7. So that is the huge uh, IO count increase. That's all. Thank you.